one interesting discovery we've had in trimming this stuff out is that the table is we got we just we got a little problem here. There's about a quarter of an inch down there where the this side of the table is lower, the cool side of the table. So this guy's gonna be my new best friend. end of the night we got our trim pieces ripped and then we did an initial sand here with uh, what was it 80 grit? 80 grit. 80 grit to try to get rid of that uneven area right here and it did a little bit. I got a little carried away right here. Got a little ridge but uh, we got the initial sand down on the top. This is proposal one on how the legs would be set up. We can take the extruded aluminum, attach these two pieces here to get the max amount of width possible on the legs going to the floor. We've only got a limited number of pieces because it was donated. So try to cut this stuff. We bought a brand new blade. Uh, what kind of blade is it? I think it's one of Zach's favorites. Uh, Diablo. Diablo. Oh. Actually, I don't think that'll fit in the table saw. So. What? So it's wow. chop saw only? Well, there she sits. Got some finish work to do. <laughs> Go ahead and use her there, Zach. Gotta tighten it up a little bit where the brackets are, but put some trim on her. We're getting close there. So we took uh, one long and a shorter of the previous boards that were part of the bowling alley and we ripped them down to that approximate thickness. I have no idea what that is. 14 furlongs. Perfect. And uh, that'll trim out the edges of the table. 